What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Charm City. Charm City Gaming here, back with more Jumpstart Third Great Adventure Mystery Mountain. This is episode 5. What the? No, not the transfer there. We already have a robot to save. We need to complete the mission we're on before selecting another one. Yeah, yeah, beat it. Okay. Head, head to the observatory for more alien sighting shit. <laughs> so let's go. Here we go again. Polly's launched another one of the mission clues into space. Man your battle stations! And the rock, baby. Here's the rock. So you and your friend really like the thrill of venturing to the brink of nothingness. Yeah, we do, I think bitch. you know what to do. Click on the telescope and we'll get started. Right to that. We've got to mission clue. transmission out of the black hole's clutches, otherwise we won't get Polly's hint. Polly's transmission is four radio packets big. Make sure you collect them all or we won't be able to do Wow! That's way to maneuver! You've got another radio wave packet. Great! you got another radio wave packet. This is for the last Great mission clue. Maneuver. you got another and... radio wave packet. And, uh, we'll probably need some more invention points. Wow! That asteroid is obliterated! Great. You know, we got the uh, clue to get, and once the clue is secure, we gotta head to the time machine and save our second robot. Wow, that asteroid so we can is probably start the third mission in episode six. Since there's 25 missions, it'll probably take at least wow, that 50 episodes. We can wait in that game, but we'll see. Alright, you got all the radio packets. Now we can decode Polly's hint. Of course, all I have to do is shoot straight. I'm gonna have to move. We're back at the alien decoder, just in time to retrieve Polly's message from the black hole. Alright, what is it this time? I can't make hide nor hair of this message. Hopefully. My horns appear in the night sky. It's gotta be the ram. Great! You decoded one of the sentences. Okay, now here's the next piece of Polly's clue. I'm a symbol of strength and power. I couldn't make any sense out of that, but you managed to find a real sentence. Great! I may have to, uh, to up the difficulty eventually. Ain't people afraid to me. There we go. You decoded one of the sentences. Uh, something's not right. We gotta fix this sentence. Decoding operation is completed. You broke the code. My Some Chris Jericho. <laughs> here in the night sky. I am a symbol of strength and power. Ancient people prayed to me. They called me the Sacred Bull. I'm guessing okay, it's Taurus. The hint. Quick, to the star chart so we can find that clue. It's gotta be the bull or whatever. You have an idea which constellation Polly sent the spaceship to? Click on the star chart to figure it out. Click on any of the constellations and then... Perseus is Gemini means twin. Cancer, Leo the lion, is the fifth. Virgo was a beautiful young woman who in Greek, Ursa Major, Budes, is one of the oldest constellations, sometimes called the hunter or the herdsman. Ursa Minor is the little cousin. Perseus is a hero. Andromeda was almost killed. Ares looks like a power. Taurus is the bull in the night Ares. sky. In Greek mythology, the bull was Zeus, the leader of all the gods who transformed himself into a beast to kidnap Europa, the beautiful daughter of a king. Way to go! You picked the right constellation, and now the ship is heading back here! Of course, Taurus is easy. Alright, now put the clue into the inventory for safekeeping, then head on out. The world depends on us. Yep, time to rock, baby. All right, we got all the mission clues. Now all we need is enough invention points. We need 1,000 total. 
Oh, We're gonna have to play dungeon. some of the games on this floor to win some more points. Let's go. Hi. Hey, we're back at the maze. And look, there's another box down there. Should we investigate and see if Polly has left a mission clue here? Sorry, Polly. That box doesn't have one of your precious mission clues. Just a few invention points I had lying around my room. I've got loads of invention points because I'm so smart. But maybe you and your friend should just leave while the leaving's good. Uh, of course you can, right? Alright, let's try South 3. And South 2. Maybe jump south, I'm not sure. Let's try and see where we can go. Yeah, we're good. I got on the first try. Sweet. Uh oh, no I didn't. No I didn't. No I didn't. No I didn't. Uh -oh. oh dear. Oh, too bad. Poor guy. He's either really brave or really stupid. <laughs> now you can arrange the co Okay, now I'll try it. Might run out of power before this, before we get to go to the came but we'll see. Oops! Uh, that didn't work. Don't worry, he's okay. See if you can figure out where you went wrong. Change the program, then try running it again. Hmm. How about Jump West? Then was too. That might be the key. Although I'm not sure. Nope. That's not the key either. Oops. Uh, that didn't work. Hmm. It's gotta be West 2 then jump to. Or jump west. Let's try it. It's got, that's gotta be it. That's the only thing I can think of. For a level 1 mission, this one, for a level 1 version of the game, this one's tricky. Oh wait, I see the problem. Oh, uh, that didn't work. I see the problem. You gotta do West two, West one, then jump. That'll do it. Boom, bada bang, I got it. I got it. Fox is mine. That was hard. Terrific! Polly has nothing over you. Alright! Take the invention points and put them in your inventory. Then on to complete this mission. Alright, we got Damn, all the still mission need more. Views. Now all we need is enough invention points. Oh, we need 1,000 total. We're gonna have to play some of the games on. Let's go to the end. Let's go to the uh, uh, send the hint out there. Whatever. There's no mission clue here, but notice the missing spaceship. I wouldn't be surprised if Polly launched it with some spare invention points. I hope you and your buddy enjoyed the void because that's where you're headed. Oh gee. When will she stop? Why, if I was her father. Just click on the telescope and I'll help you save the world. Hmm. Gotta get the adventure point first. Get the transmission out of the black hole's clutches, otherwise we won't get Polly's hint. Polly's transmission is four radio packets good. Make sure you collect them all or we won't be able to decode her hint. We don't even need the uh, 
actual invention points. You just get 10 just for blasting these radio packets. And you're only 20 away. Asteroid is obliterated. Just keep on firing. You destroyed an asteroid. Nice shoot. See, there it is. We actually have enough the engine asteroid. points right now, but I figure I might as well go to the train engine points while I'm at it. You got all the radio packets. Now we can decode Polly's hint. Of course we can. Back at the alien decoder, and it looks like Polly's hint is about to reach us from the black hole. Almost there, but it seems Polly left a grammatical booby trap. My name. It's Caster. I don't know what this one is. quick sense out of that messy sentence. Oh, wait, there's more to be done. My brother's name is Pollux. Oh, wait, I think I know what it is. It's Gemini. I already know it's Gemini. There's more to yep, we look alike because we are twins. That's, that's a dead giveaway, it's Gemini. When they said brother's name, I kind of knew it was Gemini right away. Oh, you make quick sense out of that messy sentence. Uh, something's not right. We gotta fix the sentence. Name of our constellation means twins. As, as if it wasn't any, as if it wasn't obvious enough already. Decoding operation is completed. You broke the code. My Once name again. is Castor. My brother's name is Pollux. We look alike because we are twins. The name of our constellation means twins. Of course. Way to go! The hint is unscrambled. Now we. To the star chart. You need Stay to quick figure out which constellation Polly said. Click on any of the constel. Get up so I can find Gemini. So I can get it before we lose power. Gemini means twins. Bingo. This constellation right is named after Castor and Pollux. Castor and Pollux were mythical twin brothers. The ancient Greeks and Romans prayed to Castor and Pollux to help them win battles and to rescue them from shipwrecks. Hear that? You must be right. And here comes the spaceship. Of course. Touchdown, baby. We made it! All right. Put those invention points into the inventory. Then let's get back on track with our mission. We made it. Ching we ching. Got all the Seventeen ten. Got enough invention points. Now let's go into the time machine. Click on the time machine door in the back. And we'll be doing that. I just want to check and see what our actual total is here. The three thousand thirty. So we'll be getting into the time machine in just a moment, guys. Hang on. All right, guys. Let's do this. Head for the time machine. It just enough power to do this. <laughs> Even if I run that wall, we need we can still finish it. All right, things are going well. We're back at mission control. But before we do anything else, we need to use the wheel of invention. Didn't think we'd be back here so quick in just two episodes, but whatever. I'll take it. Once again, to the game show where history's on TV and Polly's got the clicker. In this exciting oh, episode, we'll search for this lovely is episode two of Polly with squares. <laughs> back in time. Your first clue is a cute pigeon, and it will lead you to what this mission is all about. Pigeons have invented a special way of drinking water. Most birds drink by scooping up water with their beaks. The pigeon uses its beak like a straw. It's the only bird in the world that actually sucks up water. Hmm. Pigeons are in the same bird family as which other bird? I don't, I don't know anything about pigeons. I'm guessing doves. Right. <laughs> in fact, pigeons and doves are two names for the same exact bird. Hmm. Like some other that? birds, doves have a special symbolic meaning for people. The American bald eagle, for example, stands for freedom. The dove is the universal symbol of what? The universal symbol of peace. Everybody knows that. Good job! Ho oh, ho! 
For thousands of years, the dove has stood for peace. It is a symbol of international cooperation among countries choosing peace over war. What sports event is played to promote peace? I still want to say that, you know what, fuck it, I'm saying the World Series even though I know that's wrong. I just want to hear what he says. Nope, the World Series is a baseball championship. I'm just saying this just to hear what they have to say. I already know the correct answer. No, the World Cup is a soccer championship. Alright, no, I not say much anything else. answer. The Olympics are played by people throughout the world to encourage peace. That's why doves are released at the opening ceremonies of the Olympics, because they symbolize peace. Hmm. Ha! So Polly sent Ronda Robot to the Olympics. You're headed for a medal, keep going! Headed for a medal and a key. <laughs> the next clue is a torch. The torch will light the way to where the Olympics were first played. Making fire was a huge step for mankind. Here was no an shit. awesome form of energy that was finally in our power. No wonder that fire has taken on so much meaning and importance for people. Even the Olympic Games open with a spectacular celebration of fire. How does the Olympic torch get into the Olympic Stadium? Somebody runs it. Duh. That's right! Ho ho! Runners carry the torch around the globe and into the Olympic Stadium where the Olympic flame is lit. The runners represent the countries competing in the Olympics. Runners from countries all over the world train to compete in the Olympics. Approximately how many countries compete in the modern Olympics? Shit, I don't know, about 120 of them? Great! <laughs> about 120 countries participate in the Olympics, including the country hosting the Games. The Olympic torch is always lit in which of those 120 countries? I'd say it's in Greece. I think. Yes! Haha! <laughs> the Olympic torch is always lit in Greece because the first Olympics were played in ancient Greece. The torch symbolizes the constant renewal of the Olympic spirit. Hmm. Pack your bags. Looks like we have to go to Greece to find Ronda Robot at the Olympics. Ancient Greece, huh? All right. Two masks are your next clue. They will lead you to who invented the Olympics. These masks represent two types of plays invented for the theater. The laughing mask represents plays that are comedies. Comedies have funny jokes and happy endings. The mask with the sad face represents what kind of plays? Tragedy, obviously. That's right! Ho ho! Tragedies are plays with unhappy endings. No if shit. you were going to write a play, you'd have to decide whether you wanted to write a comedy, a tragedy, or a mixture of the two. If you wrote a tragedy for the theater, what would people call you? Uh, novelist, maybe? Come on, click. No! Novelists write long stories called novels. Uh, okay, I guess dramatists. Yup! <laughs> dramatists have been writing plays for a long time. The world's first dramatists wrote plays in honor of a god called Dionysus. Dionysus? Who were the world's <laughs> first dramatists? Probably the ancient Greeks. Great yep. job! Ho -ho! The ancient Greeks invented drama as we know it today. For the Greeks, drama was a religious festival. The ancient Greeks had another religious festival. They called it the Olympics. <laughs> Perfect. Not now bad. we know who invented the Olympics. Ronda Robot, we are coming your way. Scanning Olympic win. All right, the final clue is pottery. And it will tell you when the Olympics were first held. Heating clay dug from the ground transforms gooey wet mud into hard waterproof long-lasting pottery. People in the Middle East made the first pots and plates out of pottery 9,000 years ago. Shit, that was a while. What's another name for pottery in general? Considering it's made in, since this was made released in 96, I'd say it's 9,000 and uh, 9,020 years ago. Well, I 
ass. That's right, ho ho! Many ancient pots and plates have been found because ceramics are hard and last a long time. Scholars dig up ancient ceramics to find clues about ancient life. What do you call the study of ancient ceramics and other objects? Let's see. Hmm. Archaeology, because paleontology is dinosaurs, I think. That's yep. right. Archaeologists study ancient human societies by looking at the things they made. An archaeologist would most likely study a society from what year? No, 2010 is too is back to the future. 1988 is too too recent for this game, so it'd be 776 BC. But I want to hear what he would say about 2010. No, archaeologists don't study the future. Yeah, that's future. This is too recent. Let's see what he says. 1988 is too recent to interest an archaeologist. I thought so. They don't study the future because obviously this game was made in 1996, and that answer there pretty much shows its age. That's right, ho ho! And 776 BC was the date of the very first Olympic Games, which began as a religious festival. We know about the first Olympics thanks to archaeologists who dug up the ancient stadium in Olympia, Greece. Congratulations! Oh, and pack your toga. It looks like we're headed to the first Olympic Games in ancient Greece in 776 BC. And to rescue poor Rhonda Robot. Before we take this trip back in time, can I just tell you how amazing I think you are? <laughs> that said... Yeah, we don't need to hear that every time, Riley. On to the time machine! your seatbelt and click on me when you're ready to go. Let's rock. Get set for a trip to ancient Greece. We've got front row seats for the very first Olympic Games. Yay! It's the world's first Olympic winner. But boo! It's Rhonda, the beauty queen robot. Look, the next event is the talent competition. There's no mistake in Polly for Miss Congeniality. That poor athlete isn't getting a laurel wreath. That's a diamond tiara and a bouquet of flowers. Hit the recall button before the evening wear competition begins. <laughs> evening wear. <laughs> you gonna say anything? It's gonna be. I'm just gonna. I'm just stalling. Oh yeah, not stalling this time. We'll stall in the Much next one. Better. You've saved the Olympics from becoming a beauty pageant. Imagine running a marathon in high heels. Make sure your seat backs are in their upright locked positions while I take us home. Ah, oh, there's no place like home. Press the back button on the utility belt to leave the time machine. We need to put this robot to rest. Hey, things are looking up here. We've added another robot to the roost. Can you say sweet dreams? <laughs> well, good for you, Snotly. You rescued another one of your little friends. How sweet. But there are more where that one came from. I just hope you can rescue them in time. Ugh, she's just begging All to get right. an asshole. We've still got places to go and robots to rescue. Click on the inventory to start a mission. You know, for once, I'll start a mission at the end of this episode. Nah. I'll save it for the next one. Come on, we've come this far, but... She's head down well, to the first <laughs> While I can see that there's a lot of fascinating stuff on this floor, I don't feel right enjoying myself when my robot friends are waiting to be rescued. Click on the inventory and let's start a mission. Look, we're at the shrink matic again. While I can see that there's a lot of... There's plenty of cool things to do on this floor, but I can't enjoy myself when there are robots lost in time. Click on the inventory to start a mission. 
And we'll be doing that in the next episode, guys. So, till next time, it's your boy, Henry Charm City. Charm City Gamers, signing out. Remember, if you liked this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to support me on the channel. And as always, keep it charming, folks.